Back to Fog Football and of course Rangers in real life are playing PSV at the minute. Two legs of course for a Champions League spot in the group stages. Finished two each there. I'll go be a wee match of you on that soon. But we are here with a video on FIFA 22. Um, trying to figure out would PSV in fact win the Scottish Premiership and this is actually using the updated squads you know we've got the likes of Benitez and Luke de Jong in there although PSV fans would argue that having Benitez in there isn't exactly the fucking greatest thing in the world considering that blunder that he did uh, in the game at Ibrox we've also got Joey Fearman of course a Rangers target for you was pretty good against him at Ibrox um, you know, but if we're realistically looking at this, PSV, I don't think they're going to finish any lower than third here in this uh, experiment. I'd be pretty shocked, to be honest, if they finish lower than third. But you know what? Th these experiments have uh, gave some shocks before. We did one recently with the four Irish teams in Europe, and one of them actually beat, I believe it was Ross County. So I guess you just never really know. But let's dive into it, and we'll skip up to the end of the transfer window and see what PSV have done after four wee games. Yes, and as you can see, we're simulating up to the first game of September here. We've played all the games in August, and I, think, I believe there was one in July as well. But with Livingston here, and then I think we're in the Conference League. I'm not really looking at the Conference League, because of course PSV can just play in the Conference League when they're out of the right? But as you can see, four games in to the league table. Celtic are eighth. Absolute shocking start. Aberdeen sitting first, then it's uh, uh, Rangers, if we say us, we are Rangers, but PSV <laughs> sitting third. Where will PSV finish? I'm predicting third, but I guess only time will tell. We get though to the end of December, um, slash the start of January, as you can see, I mean, we've got a couple of results there, a couple of reds, there's a couple of greens, but we'll look after this done the United game, and that is a pretty comprehensive win there, 3-2, but most teams... That are Dutch playing Dundee United, pump them about 7 0. Wink, wink, A said Alkmaar, if we're being uh, perfectly honest. <laughs> Still can't get over how bad that was. That was fucking embarrassing. No ways about it. But as you can see, 22 games into the season, it is Celtic from PSV, from Rangers. Rangers only two points behind. But Celtic have quite a gap considering how shit the start to their season was. So, a bit far fetched. Um, surprised, I thought Rangers would. I actually downloaded the latest squad, so I'm assuming that Celtic have just got a better squad than Rangers now with FIFA because they won the title and shit like that. I'm assuming so, maybe that's high that massive points gap around there. Or maybe Rangers, in the games that they're going to play PSV this season, are just going to lie down and bottle it. Um, who will tell? But you know what? I couldn't care about FIFA. See, as long as Rangers get that job done against PSV in real life at in Holland. I wasn't that impressed by PSV, if I'm being perfectly honest to Ibrox, but I wasn't that impressed by Rangers either, so I guess it's uh, six of one, half a dozen of the other sort of gear going on there. But you know, we're in January here, we're fast forwarding it. I mean, that's realistically for a team like PSV, this should be three straight wins. Kind of similar form you'd expect for a, a Rangers or a Celtic, to be honest, but you know. Prediction of third, still on for me. Uh, Rangers need, just need to up their game a wee tinsy bit and maybe we'll have a wee bit of uh, joy. But as you can see, we are fast forwarding here. We are into May. We're clearly into the split. We've beat Dundee United and we've beat the mighty Glasgow Rangers. Mighty Glasgow Celtic up next. Last game of the season. Could it be a title decider? Only time will tell. It's a massive game. We've lost. And look at that. The, the board have sacked us. I'm sitting here in shock. I actually can't believe the board sacked us. I mean, the objective was to win the league. I guess when they're four star and Rangers and Celtic are basically in their four star as well. Three and three quarters, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I mean, but they get sacked because of it. Like, I mean, it seems a wee bit extreme, but when I guess when they, um, when it is a critical thing, you know, and then the only job left was uh, Hibs, and then you think the only job left is Hibs, man. Who wants that? $2,000 a week. Sounds no bad. Ready to shine. I'm ready to shine. But the whole objective of this was where, where PSV finish. So I guess only time will tell. And we've got to dive in and look at it right here, right now. But I believe Hibs have actually got a, a Scottish Cup final game against Rangers. But we don't care about any of this shit. We just want to see where PSV finished. And as you can see, PSV actually finished with 15 points behind Celtic. A massive amount. But Rangers, on the other hand, Rangers finishing a whopping 24 points behind. That is an insane amount behind Celtic, man. It really is. But anyway, guys, that's been the experiment. PSV, could they win the league? 
No, they finished second. But could they beat Rangers? Aye, they could. 